Today we got a chance to try a new watch from YHE Technology which is aimed to be a medical grade blood pressure monitoring device. They currently have their Indiegogo campaign ongoing and they have gotten quite an impressive response so we're here today to check out this watch to see if they are any good. So also this watch was sent over to me by YHE for review and there were no money exchanging hands so as usual I'll be sharing with you my honest and unbiased opinion about this watch. The model that I have here is the YHE BP Doctor Pro which is their flagship model which would read retail for a cool 399 US dollars or about 1,500 Malaysian Ringgit is not cheap but I also think that you cannot put a price on health so if you have a need to know your BP on the go or have a constant record all the time then I think this is invaluable tool for you. Again if you're interested in this watch do check out YHE's website or also you can check out their Indiegogo page for an early bird discount. So starting this off this is not your typical smartwatch and frankly those who buy this watch definitely has their needs and priorities so we need to evaluate them from those conditions and circumstances in mind. The watch is built fairly large and even for my large hands they are still a little larger but this is important since they need to fit a solenoid valve to pump up the inflatable cuff on this watch and yes this watch actually has an inflatable cuff just like your standard blood pressure monitoring machine. So the watch itself is not too heavy and the weight on the website says is about 60 gram but weighing it on my scale shows that it is 81 grams so it's not not that heavy to be honest so it's suitable for the elderly as well. So the overall build of the watch has a very high quality build and the entire watch face here is made of a nice polished silver uh, but I wish it would also come in a space grey colour which would also look really nice. So the screen inside is a decently sized screen but because of that bezel that you get so if I were to shine this on the light you can see that this is the entire bezel. So I don't have the spec of this watch but it does look like an OLED screen with pretty good pixel per inch so it looks pretty sharp and nice looking as well so only under direct sunlight that you will see the bezel else most of the time it's very seamless so you can see from the screen here itself it does look very black uh, the blacks look very black so I think this is pretty much an OLED screen. So you get two chrome buttons at the side of the watch here so you're also going to get the charging pins at the bottom of the watch as well as the heart rate sensors here. So YHE gives you a dock to charge the watch up and it's nice to get a dock but two things I want to point out. The dock runs micro USB and it also have a very tight snap when putting it in so some elder folks may find it difficult to take them out of the cradle uh, or put them inside the cradle so I'm also worried that it will scratch the beautiful polished chrome at the side. So the next thing I want to talk about is also the watch band. I believe because of this inflatable cuff, the watch band is actually mounted upside down out of the box. Further examining the watch, I see that there are screws here that you can screw out and flip the bands itself. Uh, but I do hope that YHE addresses this because the upside down band is very difficult to put on uh, because of muscle memory. So you can see that if you wear the watch like this, the holes which is supposed to be on this side is actually on top and this buckle is at the bottom so if you want to wear this watch it's not the most intuitive uh, way to wear this watch because uh, my muscle memory has learned how to wear a watch uh, forever so this is not one of the easiest way to wear it and also one thing that I noticed because of this inflatable cuff if you were to have very large hands right so say that you use the last two or last three there is no way for you to reach this uh, strap here so your wash strap will pretty much be flapping open like this so only at the fourth or fifth that you can start to slot in uh, into this strap. Personally, I think this would be addressed if you were to flip this uh, strap. So at least that's from my experience. So to the interesting part of this watch, which is the battery life, because I do have very mixed experience using this, especially as someone who is new and just received this watch. So YHE rates the BP Doctor Pro to have a normal usage battery life of seven days. But I believe this is without extensive continuous BP testing because when you use this watch for BP tracking, I noticed the battery life does drop quite quickly. I've tested the watch without using it at all as well and just left it on standby and put it on my nightstand. The battery lasted about three days. So you can imagine using this as your daily driver with notifications, with constant heart rate testing. It's a watch that you pretty much have to charge every day. Also another thing I want to point out is the always on feature. So you can see that I currently have the always on feature on and your battery literally disappears in a few hours, especially if you use uh, the always on uh, and you use your BP 
tracking and constant heart rate monitoring, your battery will literally disappear very fast. So I hope that in future updates that the always on display will dim out the screen, maybe go into a power saving mode like most watches today. However, charging the watch up is fairly quickly at only one hour, but I know if I were to ask my parents to wear a medical device that requires daily or frequent charges, that would be a big no-no for them. So we're not going to cover the features like a standard smartwatch since this is clearly not designed for that purpose. The watch only comes with a Bluetooth 4.2 which is solely for the purpose of transferring your health records from your watch to your phone. It doesn't do anything else uh, with Bluetooth so there is no need to include modern new chipsets. The watch comes with a standard smartwatch feature such as 24-7 heart rate monitoring, SpO2 monitoring and sleep tracking so those are all the standard features provided in most smartwatches today. The main feature of this watch is the ability to test your blood pressure on the go. I'm personally not a medical professional so I'll give my layman description about this watch. So let me just turn on the inflatable cuff so that you can see. So now you can see that the inflatable cuff is uh, expanding. It's blowing air into the uh, cuff itself. So the inflatable cuff acts as a restrictor so that the watch can uh, measure your blood flow on your wrist and you know give you your heart rate right. So if you stop it, it will deflate and it becomes a normal watch. So personally, I don't have a blood pressure machine to test this feature out, but I know my typical BP as well as my wife's typical BP and the machine manages to measure both of us fairly accurately. So I think this is a pretty accurate device uh, in terms of that. The inflatable cuffs that comes with the watch actually gets pumped up really tight and it's not just some gimmick, but it actually works and squeezes your wrist really tight to get the measurement. So I would say that this is quite a legit piece of tech. Again, I'm not a medical professional here, so I'm not claiming anything, but I'm giving you a real consumer to consumer experience. So there are also sports tracking feature on this watch, but keep in mind that there is no GPS tracking on this watch. So you will just be able to track your heart rate and workout details. So there is also a function in the BP monitoring Training to test your cycle test. So if you go inside here under BP, so you can see this clock here, right? So if you click on the clock, you can see cycle mode as well as custom setting. So what I was thinking that the cycle test would fire automatically on a given time because inside here you can set the uh, time for morning, for noon and for night. So I thought it's something that is gonna, you know, like fire automatically. But what it actually does is give you a notification so you can start it manually. Reason for that is that you might be doing something, you might be walking around, you might be exercising. So which would render the test inaccurate. So having that notification is actually quite smart. So the watch interface here is really simple and straightforward. From the home screen itself here, you're gonna get a watch face and you can change the watch face by long pressing on it and you can uh, also add more from their app. So inside here, you're gonna get just a few watch faces, right? So you're gonna get an analog one, you're gonna get a simpler analog one, and that's pretty much uh, the watch faces that you get. You can also add uh, some new ones from the app itself and it will look pretty nice, but I think the rounded uh, watch face doesn't really suit the design of this watch. So if you swipe down from the top, you're gonna get your command center where you can make various changes and controls uh, the setting of your watch. Swiping from the bottom will bring you into your notification center and if you have any configured, it will push the information to your watch. So from the main screen swipe from the left to get a simple summary of your day, distance, walk, calories burns and steps taken and the watch doesn't go all around so uh, the left has only one information and if you swipe from the right this brings you to your various widgets so the first one will be your BP monitoring then next you're gonna get your heart rate monitoring and uh, next you're gonna get your SpO2 monitoring and that's pretty much it so there's no more widgets after that so at the side here you're gonna get two buttons so the top ones will sleep your watch or turn it on uh, at the bottom here you're gonna get this bigger button so if you press this button it will bring you into your menu and here this is where you're gonna get pretty similar stuff so inside here you will have access to your workouts your alarms your weather and also your hrv which is heart rate variability monitoring i'm not too sure how that works I'm sorry, I'm not a medical professional. So the overall UI works really great and functions pretty smoothly. So general experience here is really nice. So once you go about your day and want to sync your data to your phone, you can fire up the YHE app and you will be able to sync all your device uh, and take a look at your health history, right? So the first page itself gives you a lot of info about your health and it's extremely useful to give you or your doctor a historical plot of your blood pressure. And it also gives you a lot of useful information. So inside here, you can also take a look at your weekly or your yearly uh, BP range to let your doctor have an idea of what you look like. Uh, but do take note that this is not uh, an accurate 
weight measurements so sometimes I've been walking around or running around and I test it that's not too accurate to my usual BP uh, at the bottom here you're gonna get SpO2 your HR HRV and many more so this is where your health uh, information looks like so next you're gonna go to profile which is your uh, information about your watch you can have a lot of settings here that you can adjust and also your dial settings uh, here which you can also download from online store which is honestly not too many it's only nine here uh, and once you've done that you can actually sync it to your watch so that's pretty much all the features you get with the YHE app so in terms of the heart rate monitoring and SpO2 monitoring I found that this watch is very accurate compared to an oximeter or my Apple watch usually almost on the dot accuracy so i believe the bp monitor is also accurate because when i'm uh, using this watch and if i'm not walking around uh, rested bp is pretty accurate and pretty much my normal measurement and i've also tested this on my wife and it's also accurate for her as well so i wish to get a heart rate monitoring machine down uh, in the future so i can test this out more accurately for you guys the next time around so overall i think if you have that specific need or if you want to buy this for your loved ones uh, or an elderly person this is is one of the only polished inflatable cuff smartwatch that I know of that works accurately with good basic smartwatch feature as well. So I only wish that the battery life is a little bit better. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.